What is up guys, it's Ferdy back with another video, and in today's video, I am going to be going over every concept that never made it into shotgun farmers. Concepts can vary from skins, weapons, and just gameplay features that never got to see the light of day. It took me a little while to find all of these images, so please, all I ask is that you guys leave a like on this video. But without further ado, let's just go straight to it. So first up on this list, I will be going over all of the skin concepts that never made it into the game. First one being this really cool winter skin. This skin is actually confirmed to be coming to the game in Season 3 via a TikTok quasi posted not too long ago. But I still wanted to include it in here for the sake of it technically not being in the game currently. Next up, we have another skin confirmed to be coming to the game shortly, which is the white Sony Shinobi variant. Here's the 3D model, and here is the concept art. This skin will most likely only be available for players who play on PlayStation 4 or 5, but in my opinion, it is a very cool looking skin. Next up, we have what seems to be another PlayStation exclusive skin, that being the Black Belt Sony Shinobi. Now, we haven't heard anything about the Black Belt Sony Shinobi, so it is possible it was scrapped, but I would personally love to see the skin come to the game in the future. Up next, we have the Lobster skin. Here's a 3D model, and here's the concept art. The skin is based off of the lobster easter egg in the map Oceanside. I presume this skin will be out for this upcoming summer, but let me know what you guys think. Another skin that I think would be great for summer is the scuba diver skin. The skin didn't get worked on that much from the image, but I think Quasi should work on it again and bring it to the game for this upcoming summer. Up next, we have a really special skin, which is Finn. And if you guys don't know who Finn is, it is a character from Quasi's first game, which is known as Skyhook. Here's the 3D model, and here's the concept art. As you can see, one of his hands is a hook, so I'm not entirely sure how Finn would hold weapons, but other than that, I think it would fit in the game perfectly, and I would love to see the other Skyhook characters feature as skins in Shotgun Farmers. Up next, we have the Grain Reaper. Now sadly, I don't have a 3D model of this skin, but I do have some concept art. Here it is right here, and this skin looks very cool if I do say so myself, and I see myself running this if it ever comes out in the future. Next, I have the Rolling Box skin. The rolling box skin is basically going to be the skin for all of those Bach and roll emotes we got a while ago, and this was shown recently, so I really hope they don't scrap it. Next, we have another skin that we could most likely see in Season 3, and that would be the Yeti skin. The Yeti skin was actually leaked by Quasi himself over on one of his old Twitch VODs from around 3 years ago. No one knows if this was supposed to be a horde mode enemy or a skin, but I think they should make it both if they haven't scrapped it by now. Up next, we have probably the skin I want the most out of all of these, that being the Fall Guys skin. This Fall Guys skin was made as a joke around 2 years ago, but now that Among Us is in the game, I think it is possible that we could see this funny collaboration skin and shotgun farmers. Last two skins I will go over quickly since I am almost positive these got scrapped, but we have an outline of what seems to be a bear with a scarf on, which most likely got replaced by Snowbun, and an outline of what seems to be an early version of Ginger Dead. Yeah, I'm not too sure. So that was all of the skins that never made it to the game, so let's move on to the shovels. Uh, first we have a shovel for what seems to be for the Hellish Harvester skin. Here's the 3D model, and here's the concept art. Next, we have a shovel that seems to be for the Holy Grain skin. Now, me personally, I love how they made shovels for these two skins, since the skins themselves are underappreciated, but it sucks that they never ended up getting added. Up next, we have a shovel that seems to be an early concept for Griswold's weapon, but ended up getting changed to the hammer later on. Either that, or it was an early concept for the stick shovel. Next up, we have this treasure chest shovel. Sorry the image is so low quality, this is literally the best look of the shovel I could find. If I had to guess, this was going to be the shovel for the Finn skin, which we talked about earlier. Up next, we have some console exclusive shovels for Xbox and PlayStation. First, we have the Xbox shovel, which is basically just a giant hammer thing in the shape of an X. And then we have the PS4 and PS5 katana shovels, which look very good. Since Switch already has their unique shuffle skin, I really want Quasi to add these concepts to the game in the future. That's it for shovel skins. Next, I will be talking about all of the pet concepts that never made it to the game. Starting off with one that will most likely be out for season 3, which is the reindeer pet. I wouldn't be surprised if this was in either the cattle pass or the item shop sometime in season 3. Next, we have the little bear pet. This pet might seem familiar to you if you played in season 1, because in the cattle pass, there was a badge called Lil Bear that featured the head of this pet. But kind of weird we didn't get Lil Bear as a pet in the cattle pass as well. Next, we have a bunch of different dog breeds that that was shown off last year in one of Quasi's devlogs. We already have a few cats in the game, so I don't see why he would scrap the idea of dogs, so we could probably see them in the near future. Speaking of cats, we also have a few cats that aren't in game yet. 
So far we've gotten the tan cat, which is Mew Mew, and one of the black cats, which is called Binks Binks. Last up for pets, we have this Reaper Bok, which was used for promotional art for this year's Halloween event. It's not necessarily concept art, but it's something they've made that isn't in the game, so this could potentially be a pet sometime down the line. For the rest of the cosmetics that haven't been released to the game, there isn't like a whole bunch of one specific category like shovel skins or pets, so I'm just gonna be naming the last few cosmetics off. Right here, we have a camouflage shotgun skin. We kind of got something like this for the sniper, which was called the Modern Spare Fair, which was camo, but not the same camo pattern as this. I'm pretty sure this was also just a beta design for shotgun skins in general, so we probably won't be seeing this in the game. Next up, we have some hairstyles. Yeah, not much to talk about here. Next, we have the only taunt on this list, which is the hide taunt. I understand why this taunt didn't make it to the game, and I'm sure you do as well, but I think they should reuse this animation in the future if they ever do a new game mode, feature, or trailer. Last up on this list of cosmetics in general is actually an entirely new cosmetic, which is customizable lobby backgrounds. This cosmetic probably got either cancelled or paused for the moment, since every season the lobby background changes by itself. So now that we're finally done with all the cosmetic concepts, now let's move on to all the weapon concepts that aren't in game yet. Up first, let's talk about the pomegranade. So the pomegranade is basically a cluster grenade, which if you don't know what that is, it's a grenade that when set off will spurt out a bunch of little explosives with it. Now the only way I see this being effective in a game like Shock and Farmers is if you can time the pomegranade by holding left click, kind of like the pineapple nade. Next weapon on this list is the banana ring. Now Quasi has tried multiple times to get the banana ring into the game, but he just can't figure out how to code a boomerang, which yes, the banana ring, if you haven't caught on by now, was supposed to be a boomerang. Next weapon is the concussion grenade. The concussion grenade was supposed to be a concussion grenade that would make your camera all dizzy and make you walk slower if you got hit by it. And it was actually almost in the game. It was supposed to be coming with the full release of the game back in 2019, but got cut last minute. In the gameplay here, you can see that when Quasi hit this player with it, instead of the slow movement, he just got frozen. The same freeze effect that was used in hide and freeze. This was obviously not how it was supposed to work, but Quasi wanted to see how it would actually work like in shotgun farmers before actually spending time on it to make the effects. Up next on this list, we have the Kale Gun. The Kale Gun was supposed to be a rail gun, and this was actually shown off pretty recently, so there is still hope that this could come to the game. There's no gameplay of this weapon since it hasn't been that long since the concept art was made, but I think this would be a great addition to the game. The next two weapons, however, I actually do have some gameplay of, first up being the Spud Nade Launcher. This gameplay right here isn't how the Spud Nade Launcher was supposed to work at all. It was basically supposed to shoot mini potato mines that would detonate whenever someone walked over them, but Quasi never figured out how to code it. And the Spud Nade is still being talked about to this day, even being in one of the newest maps, Moonside, which came out around five months ago. The last weapon on this list is the Blade of Grass, which actually got confirmation that it will be coming to the game sometime in the future. The reason I know this is because the official Shock and Farmers Twitter account tweeted that if they got a thousand likes on a specific tweet, then they would release the white Sony Shinobi skin, which I talked about earlier, and the Blade of Grass. Now that weapon concepts are done, next I will be going over all of the game mode concepts. First being the throwables only game mode. So it's obvious from the name that this game mode would only consist of grenades, such as the Panapanade, Molotov, Lemonade, etc. And probably the Shovel too, since in let's say the Crockett only mode, you can still use your shovel. Next is the Speed Action Rifle only game mode, which seems really fun. And lastly, it's kind of unfinished, but we have this Gromado only game mode as well. That's it for game modes. Next, we have a couple horde mode bosses and enemies that haven't made it to the game yet. First one being Krampus, which is confirmed to be either a boss or an enemy. I'm thinking more of a boss in this upcoming Northside horde mode for Season 3. Next is another that I think will be a boss, which is Scarecaw. Now, there isn't a confirmed horde mode for this guy yet, but if I had to guess, it would be for Countryside, if they ever decide to make that. Next is this Radish Alien, which is holding a Radish Gun, which I actually talked about in an older video, but this enemy will most likely be in Moonside Horde Mode if they end up doing it. And last for Horde Mode enemies, we have Zombul, which was shown on a Quasi TikTok from a while ago. I think it would fit in a Countryside or maybe even Riverside Horde Mode, but let me know what you guys think. And the last group of concepts I have is... Gameplay Features. First up being a redesign to the Gnome. There isn't too much of a difference here besides one of its hands being on a shovel, and it changes based on the terrain. Next up, we have Baba. Here's the 3D model. 
And here's the concept art. So Baba had two features that it was supposed to have. First being whenever you shot the poop, which you could see here, it would make your gun that you shot the poop with grow faster, I think. The other feature it was supposed to have is that when you jumped on Baba's back, it would act as a bounce pad. And finally on this list is... Creative mode. So we all know what creative mode is, especially in Fortnite. But if you don't, basically it's a thing where the community can make their own maps, modes, and stuff like that. And I really hope they don't scrap this one. It probably will be extremely hard to implement, but the reward for getting this at the game would be massive. But anyways guys, that was all for this video. Season 3 is just around the corner, so I'll be making a ton of content on that when it drops. Leave a like and subscribe for more Shotgun Farmers videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.